Uh, well, it's time for a member of the family to come on stage. Uh, would you please welcome the comedian that made it big in 2008 at the Leicester Comedy uh, Festival. And he was the best, uh, he was nominated for the best new show at this year's Leicester Comedy Festival. Would you please welcome to the stage the very funny David Morgan! <laughs> Oh, hello, 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 everyone over there, you all right? Are you good? Hello, you all right? You happy? Hello, good morning, welcome. Um, my name's David, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm from a little place called Birmingham, are we aware of that, of the place? Yes? Anyone from nearby? No? Oh, I, I know I don't sound like I'm from Birmingham, I went to a really good school. Um, so that's kind of way. well, I say that, my mum kind of heard me when I was little, and she heard me go, Mum, it's raining. So she picked me up by the back of the neck and kicked me into a Saturday afternoon drama class and went, Nobody important ever spoke like that. And now she's got a gay son. Well done, mother. That's, uh, <laughs> that's how it works. Well, yes, hello, uh, David Morgan, comedy homosexual. Those of you that didn't guess or judge, that's ten guardian points for you. Congratulations. Uh, I'm... Um, <laughs> I'm not just gay, I'm also uh, dyslexic, boom, and bespectacled, hooray, which means that I was bullied for all of my life. Um, my dad was convinced it wasn't because I was gay that I didn't like sport, he was convinced it was because I was dyslexic, right? And so he sent me to, and I promise you this is, he sent me to dyslexic football camp. <laughs> Never let his words sit in you for a bit longer. Dyslexic football camp. Only two of these words mean anything to me anymore, right? So um, they put me in goal, which is where you put boys that don't care. Uh, you go all in the winter, fielding in summer. Yes? Thought so. And um, I was quite happy with that. I just made daisy chains and learned the latest moves to steps. At the time, it was Deeper Shed of Blue, which involved a very difficult wave and box manoeuvre. We remember. Fans? Awesome. You totally just... You, tie, you hit, but you are a fan. So um, it's a four on the stepometer, you'll remember. Not a five. That's here and now. For reference, uh, Beyonce single ladies, that's a seven. Um... So I'm doing that because this is a selected football camp because I'll make sure everyone gets involved if at any time someone isn't being passed to if at any time someone isn't getting in touch with the ball if at any time someone isn't feeling involved they will throw another ball on it was like some kind of lovey-dovey pinball multi-ball for special needs kids right it was special so by the time I managed to do the wave and box manoeuvre and the slightly harder salute and spin that deserved more uh, it's hard to do with a mic flex and the slightly harder salute and spin feel free to join them in uh, <laughs> Do it again? Oh God, oh, hang on. Ah! Oh! I know it means nothing if I ask for it, but it still feels like a warm hug. Now, by the time... <laughs> it's not fair, you've got the swishiness. By the, <laughs> by the time I look up, right, I've got everything down, I look up, it's been a crap game for everyone. As every single member of my team has their own football, every single one of the other team has their own football, the ref has got a ball from somewhere, and so have all the mums and dads. Then they'd like to help me out by giving me a bigger goalkeeper or giving me any more... Uh, any more goal so what happens is the biblical stoning of the gay all of a sudden balls are flying past my face not in the way I sometimes enjoy now um, <laughs> sorry just picking on you because you're attractive uh, that's it thank you very much hurry fabulous very economic cruising of the front row as well I know yeah just a nice quick Big push fun. And past, uh, your, your, call tri uh, your show's called Triple Threat. Yes. And that's because there's three things that you could do as a kid which made you a threat to others. They were... Uh, acting, singing and dancing. And your triple threat on the negative side is... Gay, dyslexic, bespectacled. But... <laughs> You see, now the thing is, we all love gay boys, don't we, nowadays? But, but you in those do, days, once they leave you secondary did. school. Once they're, they're, well, they're at secondary school, I came out of school, so yeah. it, was, it was a bit difficult at oh, times. So and then before that, I say I came out of secondary school, I more confirmed a rumour. Right. Um, <laughs> Pre-glee. <laughs> yes, very pre-glee. Was it, yeah? <laughs> you didn't go around singing songs. What, you probably well, I did. Well, yeah, the singing and the dancing and the... Um, I sort of stopped doing it. I was gonna, I, when I was little, I was going to go to uh, drama school when I left uh, college. I went to performing arts college. And I was going to go to drama school. And then I had a crisis of confidence and uh, decided not to go. And then retrained as a graphic designer and did design at university instead. And was that uh, crisis of confidence due to being bullied? Uh, ish. I kind of, I didn't think I wanted to do it enough. And, and I thought that if I, you don't want to be an actor, if you really, really don't, if you're not ambitious enough, you, you're just not going to do it. So it was pointless me doing a three-year degree for something that I didn't possibly want to do. So I kind of pulled out. And then I missed it so much, I got into stand-up. <laughs> it's crazy, oh, yeah, isn't no, it? No, no, no. It's funny, though, a lot of stand-up comedians have quite sad um, <laughs> beginnings, don't they? Either bullying or our poor handsome boy that's just gone, you know, yeah. that... Um, <laughs> 
Oh, but she's all know, right. She's hung up on the... On no, the, on no Jeff, but Jeff. quite often, comedy seems to come out of great... Um, well, definitely, I think so, because it, mm. it, it helps to laugh at it, I think. I, yes. I, yeah, I, I, I'm not too good with bad emotions. I don't really deal with them, so I kind of just change them into something else. And, tend to and you time. love West End musicals. Love, love them, the musicals, love Because that musicals. is very gay, isn't it's it? It's a little bit stereotypical, it, No, yeah. it's very stereotypical. <laughs> it's very stereotypical. And we had, a, we had an argument, because he yeah. likes, you like Wicked. I like Wicked. And I can't bad? stand Wicked. I think it's a load of... Oh, I'm not like Wicked, Wicked for you, that, so I changed my mind. Is uh, it? <laughs> what? He went... Mm. Ah, you see, yes, it's paint by numbers. It's mu- West End musical paint by numbers. It's all gone <laughs> tits up. Is there, is there anybody agreeing with that? No? Do you agree with it, Rob? I'm with Rob. I'm with the German. She's starting to get a little bit like a rally. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where are we likely to see you? Um, I'm, well, actually, I'm doing... Uh, I'm at the Tron every day at 2.20, doing Triple Threat, and I am a clock in Countdown every <laughs> night at midnight yes. on uh, Monday to Thursday. Is that with Paul oh, right. Yes. Yeah, that's it's a so fan- much fun. That's a fantastic Lovely. show. So L- listen, just before you leave, because yep. we are out of time, right. let me tell you uh, that David has secured four stars from the Metro... Four stars from London is Funny, four stars from Fringe Guru, and five stars from One for Review. So that's all not too bad straight out of the bag. Ah. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm nominated for that same award that Jeff's up for. So and you're not, you're uh, if you think I'm funnier than him, uh, <laughs> come tomorrow and vote for me. Come see, come see. <laughs> see, we've already got award nominees on the show. Uh, 2.20, just downstairs at the Tron, you can see David Morgan in Triple Threat. If you want free tickets, go and see our... Who the fuck was that? Um, Jeff. If you want to... <laughs> If you, so I'm doing it as quick as possible. Uh, see our producer after if you want free tickets to that show. But anyway, go. 2.20 downstairs at the Tron. David Morgan, put your hands Thank together. Thank you.